Welcome back, fellow YouTubers. Here's another Animal Planet review, and this time it's the uh, like miniature dinosaurs that come with you know the larger ones. And then later in the review, I'll be uh, reviewing some you know smaller sea creatures as well. So let's kick off by taking a look at the uh, T Rex. Before we get onto the uh, miniature dinosaurs, I just want to show off the uh, smaller sea creatures. I'll be reviewing these guys in another video, but as you can see, we got some tiger sharks, anglerfish, barracuda, stingray, and sailfish. I actually think of converting this into a Zephactinus because uh, cutting off the uh, the sword, whatever you call that, and then a few cuts to the fins, and here and here, then there's a Zephactinus. So yeah, let's just start off by looking at the uh, T-Rex, like I already said already. First up is the T-Rexes. And uh, here's a light blue one and a dark blue one. This one came with the Dino Valley set with the uh, red pterosaur and Sucumbimus. That one came with the uh, giant T-Rex set. Yeah, I like this paint job better than that one, but as you can see, differences, that one has, oops, that one has a pupil and a gold eye, that one has a red eye and a no pupil. And obviously, the sculpt does look familiar, because it is obviously a knockoff of uh, the uh, miniatures from JP3. Yeah, I do uh, like these one, uh, this one better, because, yeah, these both still have the uh, inaccurate long arms. Yeah, these are going to be really short because, of course, no articulation, but I would have given these uh, 9 or 8 out of 10s, but due to the fact that they barely stand, like, you know, they barely stand like that, I, they just really deserve a 7. But these are really cool, so let's just move on to the uh, next Next up, we have the uh, so-called Carnotaurus. But I like to call it the Ceratosaurus because Carnotaurus never had the uh, front horn. But yeah, this is more of a Ceratosaurus. And of course, being a miniature, there is no paint on the hand claws or toe claws. Like the T-Rexes, but it's a miniature, so what do you expect? But this one stands better than the T-Rexes because, you know, the front leg is forward when the center of gravity is like right here, so balances out. Despite the uh, sort of warped legs. Does remind me of the uh, JP3 Ceratosaurus, even though not really, because color colors aren't really like it. Yeah, this is probably like my uh, second favorite of the uh, mini dinos, or poss possibly third. Yeah, the head sculpt is really nice. Can you the detail going down there? And yeah, this came with the uh, di this came in the uh, dino excursion set with that big green dinosaur. Yeah, this one deserves an 8 out of 10, so let's move on to the, uh... Next, next up, one. we have the Dilophosaurus. This one's very Jurassic Park-like, except it didn't have that, uh, sail on its back. But, yeah, this one came with the, uh, bigger blue Dilophosaurus, which broke, along with another Oviraptor. This one's my fourth favorite, because, like, it would have been, like, at least my second or third favorite if it didn't have that sail, and if it would balance well, because, you know, the feet are a little bit warped. And then, of course, when the center of gravity is, like, going there, the back leg is, uh, back instead of the, instead of going up. But the feet is just terribly sculpted. This one's still a pretty cool figure. Paint job is naturalistic. But, yeah, I'll give this one a 7 out of 10, like the T-Rexes. But still a pretty cool figure, mostly because it's Jurassic Park light, like, and sorry about that, but let's move on so to the. We have one. the Ornitholestes. This is my favorite of all the mini dinosaurs, mostly because I like how it's based off the one in Walking with Dinosaurs. The sculpt, not the paint job, though. This one obviously comes in the uh, Parasaurolophus set, the one I reviewed last year. You know, this one's really awesome. Like I said, it's uh, already my favorite, and it's got some really cool feather detailing, some on the neck, the arms, and the tail. Yeah, this one deserves a 10 out of 10. The paint job is really cool, too. Yeah, the only way you can get these miniature dinosaurs is by buy buying the uh, larger sets, because they're very hard to find find on eBay with just the uh, mini dino alone. Yeah, this one's really cool, and it's I like how it stands, too. So let's uh, get... Sorry about this, but let's just review the other dinos Next, now. we have the Oviraptors. The Oviraptors are really cool. But I didn't like how there's an egg just stuck to their hands because I, I wish it was included without an egg. But I took the egg off of these. Now they look normal. But yeah, this one came in the uh, Dinosaur Invasion T-Rex set. This one came with the uh, two Dilophosaurs in the smaller set. But this one's really cool. I'm not sure which favorite this is, but I don't know. But 
looks very atomically correct. I mean the proportions, because this one's inaccurate, because over after it should have feathers and the arms shouldn't be pronated, but this one's really cool. Yeah, they come, The obviously, the paint job is the same along with the uh, sculpt. But yeah, if they weren't ba balanced by their hands, then they would have problems standing, but these are really cool, and I give these 8 out of 10. So let's just move on to the uh, next dinosaur. Like next always. up, we have the Amargosaurus. This one's my third favorite. It's just absolutely amazing figure, mostly because of the paint job and the sculpt. Even though Amargosaurus is supposed to have two rows of spikes on his neck. But this came with the uh, Dino Mountain set with that giant blue Spinosaurus. Yeah, even the teeth is painted for a herbivore. And it's a really nice sculpt. And also what I like about these miniatures is that you can bring them in the water without them being rusted. But they sink though. They do not float. It's a really cool figure. And it stands up. But of course it's not on scale with the human figure. So this has to be like a baby Amargosaurus. But I really like the the red paint going on here. Yeah, really cool figure. So this one deserves a 9 out of 10. And let's move on to the uh, last two. Next up, we have the uh, pterosaurs. These ones are really cool too. And what I like about it, because you can take off the wings without it breaking off, and you can just snap it back along with the head and the tail. Okay, okay. this one came with the uh, dino excursion set with the uh, big green dino and the ceratosaurus. This one came with the uh, giant T-Rex set, I believe. This one also comes in that Sukumima set. But the tail broke off of this guy, and he doesn't want to stand. Because, you know why you can make him stand is putting him in like that fish hunting pose when he dives in the water. He has to watch out for carnivorous reptiles. Yeah, I, uh, this paint job in here is very bland, only red and black. But this one's pretty crazy, but I really like it too. I'm not sure what kind of pterosaurs these are, but... Yeah, I don't really know what these are, but the teeth... At least they're uh, sculpted and painted together. And I think these are the only miniature dinosaurs with articulation. And they call go 360, but the legs do not rotate. So, so is this one they go fully? Yeah, I really like these, this one. So let's move on to the last, last but not least. We have the Ichthyosaurus. This one comes in the Elasmosaur set, which is still easy to find. But the sculpt is really amazing. I'm not sure if this is Ichthyosaurus or Ophthalmosaurus, because Ophthalmosaurus really, I mean, usually have big eyes, but... Page job in here is really nice. I felt like they should have painted it blue because it's an aquatic creature, but yeah, it feels solid. And this is like the second Ichthyosaur made by Animal Planet. The other one was in the uh, Dino Collectible set, but yeah, the tongue is not painted, but the teeth are like painted like separately, which is a surprise because they usually have small teeth, but the flippers are kind of small in proportion to the body. But yeah, this wraps up this review. <clears throat> yeah, this wraps up this review, so, yeah, sorry about that. So, to conclude this, here's all the dinos compared to uh, one of the human figures. So, yeah, I'm going to start reviewing more Animal Planet because I'm taking a break from Jurassic World because there's no new ones to review yet, but stay tuned for more Animal Planet reviews and also stay tuned for the Sea Creatures review.